Hey everyone, today we're taking a closer look at the Klein Tools IR5. This is the infrared thermometer. It's a 12 to one ratio and it has a lot of really great settings on it. Uh, you just hit the button here, it turns on. Um, and as you can see, it has a light as well for nighttime. And it's got a lot of different settings we could talk about. First of all, it has a maximum alarm and a low alarm. Um, so if it goes above a temperature that you've decided, it will set an alarm or if it goes too low, it will set an alarm too. So you can you can set those different modes, which is a, a really nice feature. And another, another thing is you can set different modes to get the average heat, um, the differential, the minimum, or the um, the maximum heat when you go ahead to do a heat uh, run. So let me just um, give you an example. That's my hand. See the, the dual lasers on my hand? You get 95.7 on there. So let's go ahead and take it over to my stove here. I got a burner on and let's just shoot the burner. And so the alarm's going off because it's over what I set as a limit. So there we have 346 degrees. As I get further away, 206, uh, 124. So you can see the heat dissipating around. Now when I go right to the flame, that's when I get my high heat and then it sets off that alarm that I've told it to set off. So really nice feature when it comes to that. I'm gonna be using this for my Gosney cooking pizzas. So I can set the alarm to something like 900 or whatever I want because I want to be able to cook pizzas and, and check the surface of the tiles uh, to see how hot they are. And this is something you can use in construction as well, automotive, I mean, you name it, any surface you want to know the temperature. Um, uh, so this is just a really comprehensive, well-built one. I'll show you the front here. Uh, it's got dual laser beams, as you can see, which just doubles the accuracy. Takes a nine volt battery inside of here. And Klein Tools is top of the line. And I just love how many different um, settings this has and options. So that's why I went with it.